What's up, y'all? Slime Green Beats, back in the building, a.k.a. Slime Green Heat, a.k.a. Go, go and cop these shirts on slimegreenbeats.com, because, man, they hot. They hot. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to record um, faster and to speed up your workflow using this cool little technique. And I haven't, sh I haven't showed this before. I've had issues with my computer. This is like the first video I made on my new computer. Um, but basically, like... Yeah, because I just wasn't able to record beats and whatnot at the same time uh, and record at the same time. So we got that, we got that squared away. We're gonna choose a kick, we're gonna choose a hi-hat, and then we're gonna choose a snare. Alright. So um basically, let me show you my hands. Let me show you my hands. Left or right hand, Robert Ori. Um left hand on the comma right here. Right hand on the arrows. So you see the arrows are going up and down like this. Left hand on the comma, which is the bass note, C5. You don't have to use C5, but I'm just using that bass note. Um, and we'll just take this off. Take that off. Uh, take the metronome off, yeah. And um, basically you're just going to record multiple patterns at the same time by just using, by moving this up and down in the channel rack. So for example, you can go like this. Like, actually, hold up. Let's move, kick blow the snare. So how about like, my. You'll see that pattern is now there. That can, that can save you a lot of time when you're recording uh and you can you can do three at the same time if you want try to do three it's it is kind of a challenge let's see i usually put the snare above it and uh, you don't you also you don't have to do this for kicks and snares this works really well with percussion as well like if you have three percussion sounds you can play them at the same time i'll try that after this um but yeah like this is just a workflow like record these both at the same time Get in, this, get in the habit. Anybody can do this. Like, I do not have extraordinary powers. Uh, if you can play video games, and um, if you have a positive kill-to-death ratio in Call of Duty, you can definitely do this. This really requires no skill. So, uh, and we'll also try to do it on beat. So, let's see. 150 BPM is fine. We'll work with that. Put this on beat. Let's see. Okay. See what I'm saying? It's, it's hard with three. I feel like four is impossible, but three is manageable depending on what type of sounds you have, like and what type of order you want them to go in. But just like that, we have like a simple pattern. And this would have taken this is something that would probably take. I mean, to, to do this separately would have taken literally like three times the amount of time, just about. You know what I'm saying? We got it right pretty much there. Just like that, right? All right, y'all. Raise your hand if that's lit. Raise your hand if it's lit, y'all. This is it's cooking season, ladies and gents. It's cooking season. Y'all, uh, I need you to cop on the slime green shirts. Uh, they on the site. They doing all right. What it do? Uh, yeah, just trying to sell them shirts for show. They're real nice. Take my advice, copy. Yo, it's on the, okay. Yep, so hopefully guys, you know, thank you guys for watching. You know, shoot, man. I honestly like feel like this is like money in the bank because they say time is money. So um, this for me, when I started doing this, it, it was not like a one-off thing. Like I was not like, oh, like, that's cool, but I don't think, it, no, like I use this like every time I make beats, like just record multiple at the same time. I'm telling you, man, just right hand, left. You're welcome, y'all. You're welcome. Uh, anyways, I'm out.